give myself away so you, so you can use me. I give myself. I give myself away. Jesus, you know I love you, Lord. I give myself. I give myself away. So you, so you. Come on and tell the Lord you surrender to him. I give myself away. Jesus, we give ourselves away to you this morning, oh God. I give myself away so you, so you can use me. We give ourselves. We give ourselves away. We give ourselves away. We give ourselves away to you, Jesus, so you. Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. How are you doing? On this morning, I'm talking about God is bragging on you. God is bragging on you. And you're going to see what happens when God brags on us. But until we get into the Word, lift your hands to heaven and just worship Him with us. Come on and lift your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands to the Lord. Tell the Lord you love Him this morning. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you this morning, oh God. We love you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Oh, Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Oh Lord, we love you with our whole hearts on this morning. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. And forget not all of his benefits. We love you this morning. Lord, as we're about to go into the word. Minister to your people on this morning. Touch them. Strengthen them. Encourage them, I pray. Bring revelation. Bring understanding. Make it so simple that even a child can comprehend what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, I want to take you right into the Word of God. I'm talking about God is bragging on you. From the book of Job chapter 1. We go on into verse 6. Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says in verse 6, One day the members of the heavenly court came to present themselves before the Lord. And the accuser, Satan, came with them. Listen to this. Where have you come from? The Lord asked Satan. Now you know, you know God knows where the devil is. He knows everything. But it's amazing how God can get the devil to talk. And amen. Watch this. Satan answered the Lord, I have been patrolling the earth, watching everything that's going on. Listen to verse 8. Then the Lord asked Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job? He is the finest man in all the earth. He is blameless. A man of complete integrity. He fears God and stays away from evil. Satan replied to the Lord, Yes, but Job has good reason to fear God. <laughs> you have always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. You have made him prosper in everything he does. Look how rich he is. <laughs> the devil's jealous of us. But reach out and take away everything he has and he will surely curse you to your face. All right, the Lord said. You may test him. Do whatever you want with everything he possesses, but don't harm him physically. So Satan left the Lord's presence. Now watch this. I want you to take note of this story here. It wasn't the devil who brought Job up. It was God that brought Job up. God said to Satan, 
Have you considered my servant Job? Have you taken note of him? That there is no one like him in the whole earth. This is the finest man I got on the planet. A man of complete integrity. So God was bragging on Job. Glory to God. I, I want you to see this because some preachers say what happened to Job happened to him as a result of his fear. Well, that doesn't line up with scripture. Now I know Job said the thing that I feared has come upon me, but look, it was God who started this whole ordeal, man. God was the one who confronted the devil bragging on Job. And then the devil want to issue a threat to God. How foolish. How can you threaten God? God knows all things. How can you bet against God and think you're going to win? you got to be out of your mind. But do you see the devil? The devil is foolish. Absolutely. Anyone who will fight God is a fool. I want you to hear me good on this. I'm not here to praise the devil or lift him up. I'm here to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus. For the name of the Lord, glory to God. He is a strong tower. The righteous run therein and they are safe. The Bible already declares that no weapon that's formed against you will be able to prosper. My God, I want to get your attention this morning. What I want you to realize is sometimes we begin to get attacked by the devil. We get noticed by the devil. We come under severe affliction by the devil because God is bragging on us. And the devil wants to do everything in his power to get us to turn our backs on God. But I made my mind up a long time that I'm going with him all the way. I'm not going to turn my back on God. For Christ I live and for Christ I die. The apostle Paul said for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Either way you put it, we win. Somebody shout it. Either way we, either way we put it. We win, I feel the Holy Ghost. I said, God is bragging on somebody this morning. I can hear God. Have you look at my servant down there? They've lost everything and they still willing to give me the praise. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now watch this. So the Bible says, Satan went out of the presence of God and he began to attack Job left right, center, east, west, north, and south. Job lost everything he had within moments. Even all of Job's kids got killed. And after Job lost everything, and all of his kids had died in the bad storm, listen to what the Bible says here. I feel the Holy Ghost here. The Bible says this. Job stood up and tore his robe in grief. This Job chapter 1 verse 20. Then he shaved his head and fell to the ground to worship. My God, this blows my mind. This man just lost everything. He lost, he lost all of his children, seven sons and three daughters. And instead of this man turning his back on God and whining and complaining, the Bible said he fell on his face and he began to worship. He wasn't out of his mind. He was in his right mind. He was in the mind of Christ. Job said, I came naked from my mother's womb and I will be naked when I leave. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My God, it must have sent shock waves in the whole territory of the devil because the devil thought Job was going to curse God. The devil thought Job was going to turn his back on God. The devil thought Job was going to forsake God. But instead of Job turning his back on God in the midst of his trial, in the midst of his tribulation, Job ran to God. Job cleaved to God. Job clung to God. He draw closer to God. That's where some of us mess up. When everything's not going in the way we want it to go. That's the time we neglect prayer. That's the time we forget to worship. That's the time we forget to love God with all of our hearts. Because it's very easy to love God. When everything's going in your direction and in your favor. But can you love him? When everything's going against you. Can you praise him? When everything's not working out. That's why David said in Psalms chapter 34. David said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. The humble shall hear their often and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. 
God is bragging on you. I know God's got to bet on. And God is betting that you are going to stay faithful. God is betting that you go going to stay true. God is betting that you're going to stay committed. The Bible says now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you spotless before his throne. God has his hands on your life. Somebody shout, God is bragging on me. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. My God, my God. My God, my God, my God, my God, I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Job was tested. Job was tried. Even Job's closest friends, who were Christians, turned on him and began to accuse him falsely. But I want, to, I want you to see the turnaround here. In Job chapter 42, verse 10, the Bible says, Job was willing to forgive his friends. When Job prayed for his friends, he had to forgive them. He had to release them. When Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as what he had before. God gave him double for his trouble. He passed the test. He came out more than a conqueror. God won the bet over the devil and God will win it every time because he is God and beside him there is no other. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. If he said it, he'll make it good. If he spoke it, he'll bring it to pass. David said forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. I stop by to preach to somebody this morning. If you're going through, just go on through it. You coming out to the other side. God is going to bring you out of it. You've been tested. You've been tried. Ah, the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. And all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. The Bible also declares that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But out of them all. The Lord delivers him. That matter that means no matter what you're going through, you might have lost it all. But the same God who allow you to go through it, God is able to give it back to you double. For your trouble, the Bible says in the book of Joel, God will restore unto you the years that the caterpillar and the canker worm has stolen from you. My God, somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. I dare you to open your mouth and say, I'm going with him all the way. I'm going with him all the way. I'm going with him all the way. God, I lift my brothers up before you this morning. My sisters, God. Your precious people, God. That's being tried. That's being tested. That did not understand what was going on in their life. But Lord, I thank you that you said in your word, count it all joy when we fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of our faith, it works patience. And allow patience to have its perfect work in us that we may be complete and lacking nothing. God, we give you praise. God, I pray strength into my brother's spirit into my sister's spirit strengthen them be encouraged God knows how to bring you out of it he is keeping you in the fire not even the scent of smoke my God my God God is keeping you I said God is keeping you your life is in God's hands you've been tried you've been tested you passed the test God's about to bring you out of it I feel the anointing of God. Come on, lift your heads and blow the devil's mind and begin to praise God. Lord, we worship you this morning. We magnify you for you are great. We magnify you, God. We magnify you. We bless you this morning, oh God. We magnify you, God. We adore you this morning. We worship you, God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We love you with everything in us, God. 
We love you with everything in us. We are not serving you because of what we can get. We are serving you because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy, God. You alone are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. You alone are worthy. Ramabandala Bobosa. Rokoto Ramandala Bobosata. Reke Sata Ramanana Bosa. Randala Bokosa. Yera Mama Mandola Bokosa. Ramanana Bose. Ramanana Bakasata. Come on, open your mouth and pray this morning. Roko Sandala Bese. Mambra Kasandola Bokosa Tarabaha. Oh, we love you this morning. Satan, you will never win over God. You will never win over God. You are a liar. And Jesus defeated you on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. You bet against Jesus and you lost because he raised from the dead on the third day and said, all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Glory to God. Glory to God. I cover you in the name of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are coming out of it more than a conqueror. God is on your side. David said, I will not fear. What can man do unto me? What can the devil do unto me? God is on my side. God is on my side. God is going to restore it all back to you. He loves you with an everlasting love. And you know we love you. We appreciate you. And we're asking you to support our ministry. Stand with us support the work of God. Sow a seed into God's work. Amen. We need your support. This is how God ordained it. That the ministry is supposed to be supported by those who are blessed and encouraged and strengthened through it. This is how God ordained it. This isn't something we set up. God ordained it to be so. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation. I'm asking you, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're watching us through YouTube, subscribe to us. Click on the red and white button on the bottom right side of the screen. And every time we go live or upload a new video, you'll receive a notification. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Hit us up with a friend request on Facebook. The information is on the screen. We love to have you a part of our social media family. We love you guys. We appreciate you greatly. We believe in you, and we know God have great things in store for your life. And I just wanted to stop by this morning and say to you, God is bragging on you. And on tomorrow, join us again as we talk about a close call, a close call. God bless you. We love you. You take care now. Bye-bye.